How are you? I'm fine. Welcome to the Must Love Yarn Cast. It's Monday. April Fool's April Day. April Fool's Day. But here we are. We're here. That's the joke that we're actually doing this. <laughs> a funny, funny yarn cast on April Fool's. Right. No fooling. Right. Right. <laughs> Right. I think the joke is is that we're here. Doing the joke this. is that we're here. <laughs> that the joke is that we couldn't be here last week because you can hear about it in the outtakes. Um, why that was? Uh, the plan was to do it last week, but that's fine. Luckily, you you texted me right before I started packing my bags to come uh, to leave the house in the morning, and I was yeah. like, at least it wasn't five minutes later, because then I would have just been like. <laughs> yeah, yes. no, I was trying to cut you yes. as I had information mm -hmm. about my own household chaos. Yes. So anyway, all right times. <laughs> uh, so this is a yarn cast about yarn and knitting and sometimes some other crafts, as you'll hear in the outtakes today. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here at our yarn shop in Shelburne, Vermont. Uh, where you can buy most of the things that we talk about today. Though I do look mm. over at my um, side of the table Some and the I things. see a lot of things being used that maybe you can't buy here. But right. anyway, we will show you a little bit of both. Um, but hopefully, you know, provide some creativity and some inspiration mm -hmm. uh, for you. So uh, you can find the store out on social media as Must Love Yarn. Um, follow the store for yarn content um and i'm angela <laughs> i'm jen and you can find me on social media where you will find non-yarn content <laughs> instagram and yes. ravelry as junior bird kid uh so i'm on ravelry as which one is which uh j arbuckle and i'm on instagram as jennifer underscore arbuckle because i'm the world's most creative namer well, you know easy to find you Yes. Me, I tried to be incognito for a long time and <laughs> see how that's working out for me. Yeah, I wasn't fine. hip enough to pick a different sort of interesting, more interesting name, that's and fine. I'm not smart enough to change it now. <laughs> Mine has nothing to do with yarn, so it's fine. That's all right. So like birds. You have so. other things going on in your have life that are not yarn related. Going on. Although there are days when I wonder about, I mean, oh, yeah. I guess we have our main jobs, which are not yarn related, but no. still. Still. So yeah. we like to start our yarn cast with our yarn cast pick. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the way this works is we're going to show you a yarn that's available in the store. Good choice, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I figured you would approve. Um, it's a new in the store to us, not a new company, but a new line of yarn uh, that's super fun for summer, spring and summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the way it works is we'll give you a coupon code and you can use that code in store or online for 10% off this item for two weeks following the airing of the podcast. So that will be from April 6th. Uh, right? No. Fifth. April 5th uh, to two weeks following. 16th. The 16th. Um, so we have... Is that right? No. No, I don't even know. <laughs> I could check. How about the, the 19th? 5 yeah. plus 14 is 19. <laughs> uh, yes, 19. Okay. We are all over the place. I don't know where we the 16th came math, from. Math is not happening here right now. No. Um, Note to self for later. We, uh, so we, I picked this because it's fun. Um, and it seemed like people would be excited about it. These are two different colors. These are. So that one has a blue, this like a navy. navy. This one is onyx. And then there's this ivory. Gray one. And flint. Flint. So it's gray based. Um, so these are Queensland collections. These are called rainbow cakes. Because they are the queen of obvious. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so this is self-striping. It's 100% organic cotton. Um, these are 200 gram skeins. Uh, so it is uh, 875 yards. Uh, this is a fingering weight. I say fingering weight. Fingering weight, uh, cotton yarn. Um, and there's a couple of kind of cool patterns. One of which is being made into a sample as we speak. Okay, Not awesome. Not this one, but so um, it just shows you how kind, what the color. Yep. So olive, like. that's a uh, knitted pattern, and then there is a couple of crochet, crochet. patterns as well. Another sort of a shawl, may. Yep. 
and then, then Eleanor, Eleanor, which is this fun, which little is the one they're making in the shop. Tank, yeah, tea, which is, uh, which is cute. really cute. Yeah, makes you want to crochet. I it, I looked at it and was like, and I was like, no, don't. <laughs> Are you sure it's? Oh, yeah, it is so. crochet. Right? Yeah, no, okay. you're right. All right. Anyway, we'll have a little sample here shortly, yeah. so we'll probably drag that out. We'll, and, show and we'll show it when it's done. Um, so these retail for $29.99, um, but remember, it's a 200 gram skein, so you're basically getting uh, two double uh, for that $30. Yeah, I was just curious. So for the it's, small, it's it one, one, and for the medium and the large, Actually, medium, it's small, medium, medium, large, large, extra large. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be two. So just mm -hmm. to give you a sense of how yep. much they take for that little tea for this guy. Yep. So that's not bad. Yeah, super fun. Uh, so I think we'll do the code YP Rainbow. Sure. For those um, four different in between colors, but really yeah. fun. Yeah can't wait till my kid comes in here and sees those and <laughs> demands something made out of it. Yes, uh -oh. right, exactly. Oh. That's so, right. They are fun. They are fun. So those are brand new in the store to us. Yeah. Maybe new for this year. I don't know. I haven't seen them before, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> right. I think they're new. I think they're new. In general. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So we have a little bit of hand knits being worn today. Yep. It's like 50 some degrees outside. Not 60. Not 60. 50. 50s. Since I now pay more attention to the temperature than I ever have before. So I busted out my Fluxion, mm -hmm. which is a little, little tank top. Super. I'm trying to remember what that was called. Super fun. Mm -hmm. um, I think this, this it's been folded. So like when I got it this morning, like this was doing weird things. <laughs> it's been folded in a drawer. It never, um, it didn't have as much cowl as I thought it should. No, could. it, I, I th and I think it just, it might also be how I'm wearing it. Mm -hmm. in that, um, or maybe if we're maybe a little, we might be a little, I was going to say a little bustier than the, the, pattern. the skinny model who was yeah. wearing it on the pattern. It could also be part of the problem here. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, this was a really fun knit. I used uh, Hawasco cotton uh, mm. kettle dyes. I think this is cotton. Yeah, this is definitely cotton. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fingering weight little uh, tank. It was a fun knit. A Jen knit one too. I did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna see if I can get those lights to come back on. It's not terrible though. It's not. But it's just it's gonna keep getting dark out. That's what I'm worried about. That's true, especially yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. go. God, now it looks funny. Yeah. Uh, I am wearing the snow melt capelet, which I designed myself. Mm -hmm. um, and this yarn one. Is delightful. Yeah, a little fox yarn, fixin fingering. Does that have I, silk in it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I never <laughs> I never so could good. find the so there's just it's just a little capelet. Yeah. Actually not. I guess when I got dressed this morning. I didn't actually get dressed. <laughs> I just threw it on as I was leaving the house, and uh, then I never really adjusted it. So it's just, uh, but it's so fun. And I made it in mohair as well. It's in the shop over there. Yeah. Um, it's a nice little, like, in-between yeah. season kind of thing when it's just, mm -hmm. it's cold enough that yeah. you want something on, yeah. maybe too warm for a coat. <clears throat> but... Yeah. Um, it was originally designed because I had an event that I was going to where I was wearing like a tank dress and I needed like a little shoulder Something. cozy. So anyway, yeah. yeah, perfect. it was a fun little project to figure out. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. I just closed Ravelry and I'm not done with You're it not yet. done? No. Uh, no. So I see, I see a pile of FOs over there. I have finished objects. I have a f couple finished objects myself. So... Do you want to start? Because you got lots. Yeah, piles of things. Piles of things over there. So the ends are not woven in, but I have completed my eclipse along. Yes! Which I think I have started and finished since we podcast last. That's amazing. Because I started them when I was in Savannah. You um, know what I have done? Solstice Nothing. mitts. Um, so I did... The ends are not woven in. I apologize for that, but they're done. I did update, um, our Ravelry thread and I made the chatter thread, the chatter and FO thread. So it's mm. all in together. Um, and I put this little note that says we'll pull prizes from the only thread, which is that one. Mm -hmm. So chatter away, post your FOs and don't look directly at the sun. Right. 
That's funny. <laughs> and so it just occurred to me that there is a right and a left, and I don't remember which is which, but I put them on. So see, they have That's moons. Fun. See the faces of the moons and then little suns at the top. That's awesome. Those count. And I might have seen a finished They're object fun. from your color work class oh. where somebody incorporated some oh. details. Oh, make... yeah. Someone was talking about that. I mm -hmm. forget who. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there's other finished objects in that thread. Yeah. So anyway, they're knit. a week to yeah. do something. Well, these weren't that long. Uh, but I will say this. So these are sport weight. Mm -hmm. um, and I will leave the ends in before Monday. Um, uh, kind of fun with the ends flopping <laughs> out. And I will say this. So they're knit on a size two. Well, that's so it is small. a very tight yes. gauge and I was a little nervous about it, but you know, what's nice, but they're really, they're a beautiful pattern. Yes. They're really well designed. There's no, they do a really nice job explaining. So there's no gaps at the thumbs. Oh, like I just nice. really, I thought it was, and the charts were simple, but effective and super mm -hmm. fun uh, to do. And they did them both light and dark and dark and light so that you could choose which one you wanted to do. Awesome. Which I thought was a nice feature. That is nice. Um, so charts. Um, so they are the Solstice Smiths by Kimberly Detke from FancyTigerCrafts.com. So awesome. I, um, I love them actually. That's they're, fun. They're fun. They're fun. Yeah. And that they're knit in, um, I had a 30 gram mini of which I used like maybe 15 grams. I don't even know. I just yep. updated my page last night. So they're in there. Um, so the blue is that mm -hmm. like from Mrs. Crosby knits. I don't know, it was a mini that came as part of something else yeah. that I just never used. And then the cream color and the yellow are, uh, I stole a little bit of yarn from my temperature blanket colors. Um, and cause I didn't need very much. So I just yeah. wound off two little balls to take with me cause I was traveling when I started yeah. these. So, um, but they're really, they're I nice. feel like I have some like 50 gram skeins of yeah. some, um, blue moon fiber arts mm -hmm. and like their fingering tended to be really close to like sport yeah. weight. Mm -hmm. Um, I bet I have some fun colors in there that I could pull out and do something like that. With. Yeah, they were fun. fun. Um, I haven't put an updated picture in my page yet, but I did edit it. So I think they took, oh, let's see. These took, yeah, the blue was 10 grams. That's all I used, which oh, I was wow. kind of surprised about. That Be feels like yeah. not enough, but I okay. know, yeah. And then the other two colors, like, is that right? Did I do that right? Yeah, I said I took used 10 grams of the cream, but I don't think I really did. And like barely anything of the yellow. Interesting. And I modified the chart. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> I followed the pattern exactly. Except. <laughs> except for I wanted the suns to be a little more prominent. So mm -hmm. I didn't. The chart has like uh, the blue in the middle of the sun. Oh, okay. And so I filled those in and made them a little bit more solid. So they were a so little bit. So they stand out. Yeah. So they're yeah. more sun-like. Yes. Uh, than Awesome. Not so. They have not been blocked, needless <laughs> to say. I know. There was a little bit of poking fun at the uh, at the retreat, which was fine, just fine. Yep. All right. So that That's is fine. finished object one. Do you have okay. one? I have. Yes, I have two. Okay. Um, both of which are so. When Jen and I were here before the retreat, doing final sort Something. of retreat stuff. Why were we here? Was it retreat? Yeah, I guess yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was retreat related. That's when the name badge thing happened. Oh, and right. Like, mm, okay. And we were doing right. other stuff, but I had um, my younger child with me who, when she comes oh, to the store, right. one of the things she does is wander the store. Can I get, I want, I want, I want, I want. <laughs> so she decreed that she wanted this pom-pom and was also jonesing to pick out some yarn and i said look let's i've got so much yarn at home why don't i just pull some out for you and you can choose but if you don't really like any of the choices we can come back so i was digging through yarn looking for like retreat prizes and other things anyway uh so i pulled out a bunch of different skeins uh and this mm -hmm. purple one is the one that she picked and i will say she was down there with that pom-pom and she was holding it up next to each of the skeins of yarn <laughs> and she was being very thoughtful about it. 
Um, and that's this is the one that she chose, which mm -hmm. I think goes. It's really funny. It's much well. pinker in person actually than it's showing up on that screen. Yeah. Maybe in reality when it. Oh, the posted. pom pom. Yeah. No, the oh, um, the, the yarn. yarn is actually pinker in person. Yeah, than, it's um, got some pink undertones yeah. and actually some blue yeah. anyway, undertones. It's really pretty. Um, anyway, so this is the bristle cone hat, uh, and she allowed me to pick out the pattern. I oh, said, Do you, I know. I was like do you want to look at some patterns or do you want me to just pick one? Do you care? She was like, no, you just pick one. So I needed something that had a little bit of interest to it. <laughs> this is like a slip cable kind of mm -hmm. situation and a um, double brim. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks small. It fits her perfectly down over her ears. Mm -hmm. uh, this yarn, let me find the tag. Very cushy. It's very cushy. It was very delightful to work with. Um, it's a little bit of a, uh, uh, unicorn. It's from Craftacorn, which they don't dye yarn anymore. Yeah. Um, Craftacorn out of Canada. Uh, it's 100% superwash merino. It's a DK weight, and uh, actually the colorway is Galaxy Volume Two. Um, <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's that. She shouldn't declare it itchy. It is the softest. It is really soft. Super yeah. soft. Um, she doesn't know it's done. Otherwise, I might have not been able to bring it in right. today for this. <laughs> right. Um, and we almost had an issue with the pom-pom because mm. inevitably I sew the snap on upside down mm. every time I do these. I don't know why. And then I try to, and I'm like, that doesn't, oh. And some of them don't snap very well. Yeah. They do, but they take a minute to get them. Yeah. yeah. So it's a snap. Just, mm -hmm. it's so you can wash it. Take yeah. the pom-pom off and wash it. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Super cute. That hat is done. Mm-hmm. Super fun. Mm -hmm. I was knitting on this Friday when I was at a conference most of the day. Um, mm -hmm. Got a lot of knitting, knitting done there. Yeah. Which is where most of it happened. Well, that's why those mitts are done, the solstice mitts, because I was at a conference. Yeah. yeah. I knit, like, I think one whole mitt practically yep. uh, there, and then the rest of it has just been uh, here and there. But I mean, I have actually quite a bit, like, not a small amount of yarn left. Yeah. Um, it's not enough to do another project. Yeah. like full project but could definitely add it to mm -hmm. a color work project or something yeah so yeah super nice yarn mm -hmm. so. all right it's a time yeah, it is time <laughs> there she is betty egg white there she is has entered the building isn't she cute she's so cute i did a little stripe on her tummy she is and then i took some funny pictures of her because i thought they would be hilarious so um this is an emotional support chicken mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that um, uh, I ordered a kit because I couldn't resist the packaging. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that was it's really the, amazing. the whole reason, just because it's so funny. It's hilarious. Um, so I was actually thinking to myself, oh, I'm done. I can throw the packaging away. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't but know. I'm going to throw it away. But I wanted to show it one more time. So she uh, is complete and she... She's got a few quirks in her, but um, that's what makes her unique. And yeah, that's special. right. And she is lovely, actually. They are very cozy. So our Wednesday knit group, uh, they're all making chickens. So there's like twelve being I produced over there. Started mine. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow, those are bright colors. That tail feather swift. <laughs> that's so. This is the butt. I have mm -hmm. a chicken butt. Mm -hmm. Tail feathers. Tail feathers. Which, these are super fun to seam together. Let me explain I that to you. <laughs> can only imagine. Yeah, there's a little bit more seaming uh, than I had envisioned. And then also, uh, pro tip now that I'm done. Um, I, of course, uh, went to seam it together. So you make this little, little, little belly flap, and I, it tells you to start seaming it here and go this way, which mm -hmm. is fine. And the tail feathers, but I wanted to do the tail feathers first because it seemed odd to me that you would. Mm. So I did the tail feathers first, and it is possible that maybe this would extend past a little bit further past this stripe if you haven't actually put them together. Mm. But it's not, you know, she's got a little pouch. She's, fine. she's got she's got a little belly on her. Um, but you know who doesn't really? Um, so I did the tail feathers first, and then I came back and um, yes. did the belly and. I had seen the rest of it, the head and everything, but I do love her. She's yes. really sweet. So yeah. 
Yes, she's going to be vibrant. This is Tail Feather Swift <laughs> kit. Um, For those that are, yes, emotional yep. support chickens. Yep. The pattern is by the Knitting Tree LA. Um, and the kits are available there as well yes. if you want a kit. Super, but the pattern is super I think, cute. You can yeah, maybe. buy the pattern. Uh, it's a good. Um, and, you know, the kits come with more yarn than you need. Um, mm -hmm. I. My kit came with 100 grams of this color, the multi, and then 39 grams of the white. And I used, um, come on, there she is. That's why I knew. Oh, come on. Go back. Um, I used like 77 grams of the multi color. Mm -hmm um and like 21 grams for the white stripes and i and again i did i didn't have to because i had plenty of yarn but i just wanted her to have a little different, more yeah, yeah a little more pizzazz um the i used a us6 instead of a us7 because okay. everything i knit these days is too loose so i went I'm, down a needle using size. a seven on mine yeah and the fabric seems fine yeah and I think this yarn, it was pretty heavyweight, worsted weight. It felt almost like Aaron weight to me. But um, anyway, she's she's adorable. That is adorable. I love her. And it's also very fun to take pictures because, you know, yes. when they're up close and personal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like a chicken. Like, that's even cooler. She does. She has a lot to say, Betty. <laughs> uh, they're fun. They're fun to knit. So in case you feel the need... There's a reason why they're so popular right now, yes. because they are very sweet. Yes. Um, and I showed it to my family yesterday, and they got a big kick out of her. And also, I stuffed it with, instead of polyfill, mm -hmm. for some reason, and I still do, but I kept, I always have kept the ends of my yarn and just kept them all in a bag. And yeah. I sometimes use them to stuff animals with. So I did, she is completely stuffed with leftover. Wow. Like, I know, because I, you know, I haven't just done an animal it. for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I still have a little bit left in the bag, but it was very fun to like pull out the ends and be like, oh, that project. Oh, I remember. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a little that's trip awesome. down memory lane. So You're that's, so good. I just throw mine away. I, I do Whoa, throw them away sometimes. <laughs> I know. I have a little like apple picking bag that I just, oh. yeah. All right. sits yeah. near the couch and I just throw them in that there. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I have another hat. Uh, apparently the name of the game these days is My Child Believes She Needs All of the Things. <laughs> um, so uh, this is, yes, there is a hole in the top. This is the ponytail. Get Up and Go Messy Bun Ponytail Hat. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, that is some sparkles. It sure is. Sparkly. Uh, also, mm -hmm. uh, a case... Is, she, is her hair... I guess it is long enough oh, to put Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's really long. Yeah. yeah. I just saw her, but yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, a super bulky that was knit <laughs> okay. for a hat in bulky weight. So my hands still hurt from, mm. uh, knitting. So this is really dense. It sure is. <laughs> yes, really it is. dense. Uh, she hasn't seen this one yet because, again, I was afraid that I would not mm -hmm. get to take it. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a couple other messy bun hats that I'm eyeballing that mm -hmm. are, like, worsted weight. Mm -hmm. So uh, you may see a few more of these. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, yeah. there we go. That's <laughs> fits me. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Except I don't have a ponytail to wear. <laughs> but... This comes if you with, need a vent on the well, top, but if this your head gets too warm, typically. with uh, directions to also close up the hole. Yeah. So this is actually not a bad hat. So mm -hmm. if she doesn't like it, I may take take it out and finish the top. And then I would wear it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the sparkles. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I knit this whole thing yesterday. Yeah, well. It was super <laughs> fast. It was like on tens. Yeah. And, and really with that yarn thing. that yeah. should have been like on 13s or something. Yeah. So yeah. it's like super, like yeah. part of the battle was my hands were just like, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Like, really? Because you're tight to begin with. Yeah. There, so, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you're knitting yarn on a super small needle because <laughs> you're following the pattern directions instead mm -hmm. of making adjustments. So, yeah. There we go. Hat mm -hmm. number two. Mm -hmm. See, I knew I bought this purple sparkle yarn for something fun. Mm-hmm. 
And now you found its purpose. And now I found a purpose for right. that. So there we go. There's my second finished object. All right. So I started a pair of, I've made thrum mittens for a friend of mine, my mom, my sister, my niece. I didn't have any for myself. And so mm. Mm, two years ago, maybe, maybe longer, I made a cowl out of this teal colored yarn and um, for when I walk in the mornings, which I'm happy to say I started again today. Yay. It's very exciting. Yeah, it was good to be back out there. And I wore my mittens because they're complete because I was teaching class mm. and I needed a sample. Yeah. Uh, and the, I they were done. Um, I've used them for other mitten classes. So this one was completely done and this one was done except for like an inch at the top of the hand and the thumb. And they've been sitting in a bag uh, gathering, uh, well, not dust because they've been in a bag. Gathering but wool. Gathering their thoughts uh, yeah. for um a while now but i finished them before my class so that people could try them on and see so you can see like this one i was a little bit more diligent this one needs the thrum sort of realigned a little bit to be mm -hmm. a little less messy but i wore them this morning when i went it was kind nice. of perfect for today because yeah. it was like 30 it's a little chilly this morning. it was in damp yeah. um so uh, they are not matted down inside yet but they are um very warm and cozy yep so another awesome. finished object awesome these are probably not in here yet in my Ravelry because um, I have a thrum mitten page that I just keep adding them to so mm -hmm. anyway so um, there are several patterns uh, that are free that I recommend to people if you're interested um, uh, that I had used in my class so if you need them I will yeah, we can um, link them into show notes. Yeah, exactly. I will put them in there. Um, they're all essentially the same um, in terms of the pattern that they use. Awesome. Um, and I would look for it now, but I'll put it in show notes instead. Awesome. Uh, I don't have any other finished right. objects, but I have a series of partially finished objects. I do also too. known as works in progress. I do too. <laughs> but I do have two more two more squares on my temperature blanket because we finished a month yesterday mm -hmm. and we haven't podcast since I finished February. Right. <laughs> so this is February. Mm -hmm. We got in one warm day in February, that little yellow stripe yeah. towards the end when it was like 65 for some weird, and then you can so see weird. it immediately went back down in temperature. Yep. But, and then this is March. March. God, March was all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. All you can see we started cold place. it got very warm a few days later and then it's been in the 30s and 40s ever since until it got very cold this was like below zero not quite it was yeah, right it was above like, zero yeah. yeah like three ridiculous uh and then it got very, very warm, warm again, again. yeah and then snowstorm like uh, snowstorm oh actually then. this is um this is um last friday night yeah because when it was, it was like 10 degrees it's really cold before the storm came yeah yes which is why we ended track. up with a whole bunch of really light, fluffy snow instead of really wet snow, which is what they were predicting. Which is preferred. Also. Yes, I light, fluffy snow. Prefer is the way pattern. Better. But yes, it is interesting to hold the three squares up next. To, and I have been thinking that I would, pro I might join these three squares together, so mm -hmm. I'll have a sense for how much yarn I need. I am almost out of this sort of medium blue, mm. shockingly, because every right. all three of my squares are very blue. Well, you'll probably need it for like November and December. That's what I was thinking. So I might uh, get another skein of it tonight just, just yeah. to be sure because it's almost side. done. But yeah, but hopefully we're getting more into the greens and yellows and perhaps even an orange we'll in see. April. It's hard to say. We'll see. We will. We'll see. I think that's it for finished things for me. Awesome. Yes. Uh, so I talked about one of my whipses already, the my emotional sport chicken. Which oh, right. I showed. Yep. Uh, but I also uh, cast on, this was for my class, was teaching the mosaic knitting class, and mm -hmm. I realized that maybe it would be good to have another little sample. Mm -hmm. So this is the lozen lozenge cowl. It's a great little just sampler. Yeah. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I've made it before. Um, there is a mistake in here that I'm not fixing. So these two <laughs> rows are should be offset and they're not. Um, but I frankly don't care. It's a cowl. You, you can make it, it a design element if you make them exactly the same on um, either side. That's true. Too Already late. too late. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't really care. <laughs> I think it was on the decrease row and then I wasn't paying attention. And so mm -hmm. here we are. Uh, but this is just fun. I, you know, it's 
uh, Ultra Bowl, DK, and Shopal Edition 3. This is like a 50 gram skein, so it doesn't take a huge amount yeah. of yarn yeah. um, for this fun little cowl that looks really complicated. Um, and it's not. That's what I was primarily knitting on leading up to the retreat. Mm -hmm. um, and I've done a little bit since then. It's I can, with the exception of that one place, um, I can travel with this pattern without like having a written pattern with me because mm -hmm. it's because you've gotten to I've gotten it down. Enough. I don't know what happened back there. That's who knows. You um, picked it up and started on a road. It you just thought was you were not, not paying on. attention. Yeah. That's clearly what That'd it is. That'd be my guess. Is that a... Yeah. Because that's what would happen to me. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, So I have that guy. I still, I'm working on what I'm calling my hockey sock. So these... This was the one thing that I did work on over the retreat weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have one completely done, which was not the case when we podcast last. Because I closed up the toe at the retreat. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, you know, got the second one casted on. Going. And working down the gusset mm -hmm. right now yeah. so you know cute yeah. little shorty socks just on again on the go uh in a cute little travel size bag that i made mm -hmm. out of some of the scraps same style as the bigger one that jen has but i was playing around with the smaller like sock size which i think is fun too mm -hmm. these are way more fiddly because the holes are smaller yeah but yeah so kind of cute super mm -hmm. fun my little bag uh let's see um, and then we have our caitlin hunter along stuff right yes yeah oh that one came back on yeah awesome. um and i um have not done a lot of work on this um but i did i did work on it at the beginning end of february beginning mm -hmm. of march and then i picked it back up again and this weekend and i was working on it and i so I haven't added a tremendous amount. I feel like it looks the same every time, but it's getting to be, oops. Okay, it felt like it came undone. Moment of panic. Um, you can definitely see the fish. I think I've added like another inch to it or something yeah. probably. Awesome. Look at, you can definitely see the little fishes. I held it up yesterday to my at my sister's house and I was like, what do you think this is? Uh, and they were like, my sister was like, it's hands. <laughs> Hands that like in prayer, you know, which is fine. Uh, and if you don't know what the pattern is, yeah, that's you know? true. So anyway, I can, I, yeah, yes, I can totally I can see, see that. that. Yeah, it's funny to see it like this because I never, yeah. I'm always too close to it. Yeah. So I'm at that gargantuan stage. The Where last so row of increases many. is done. Yeah. And last night I was like, this is going to be like 4,000 feet around. So I like did my quick math because I felt like it was, you, you know, going to be out those here. Armholes takes up <clears throat> way more stitches than yes. you think. So I'm done increasing, thank God. And I am, you know, I've got like the fish head left to do. Um, awesome. And then it will just be uh, straight uh, knitting, which will be good. But I, I sort of lost, well, I had other things. I had to knit some mittens. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So funny story, funny story about the retreat. So, yeah. you know, I've been showing you on the last podcast, I showed my little sampler cowl that I knit and my thinking about my color work class. And I spent a lot of time sort of working on that and getting ready for it. And then like the weekend before the retreat, I was finalizing the program of information and I was like, oh, oh no. So, so I have two classes I'm teaching, not just one. That's right. <laughs> I had the name tag thing. She had the realization that she was teaching, oh no, two classes. Yeah, a thrum mitten <laughs> class also. Oh, huh. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Which is why I had to finish these because who knows where our shop samples, there are some here. Uh, I could have stolen those, I guess, probably now that I see them again. But anyway, so, and I also had to write a whole class outline and like get my head around that. Mm -hmm. So, and, yeah. you know, make sure we had roving and Angie actually took care of that. So that part was good. But um, anyway, so uh, for those that are new, uh, Bartlett Yarns, Cone of Yarn. Cone of Yarn. <laughs> yep, it's yeah. a thing. And... Uh, I am knitting the white parts with a little bit of Stellina just for shiny fun. For fun. The gift that keeps on giving. This is the one uh, one color the same one. of Stellina that I've knit all my projects with so it's far. Amazing. And it's definitely plenty to finish this fish. And perhaps one more project after I, it. <laughs> I mean, that's it's crazy. awesome. Uh, so the fish have a little sparkle to them. 
so I also, I have Birkin, um, which prior to me pulling it out of the bag here, mm -hmm. um, I would have said, I have one sleeve all the way done and I just need to put the other sleeve on the mm. needles and, and knock that sleeve out. Then I pulled Birkin out of the bag and was like, why is there a needle attached to this project? So I'm not done with the first sleeve. Mm. I know exactly what happened. I needed a smaller needle for oh, the ribbing. Yeah, I had to take needles apart. And the last time we podcast, I bought those needles mm. and then didn't do anything with it because I was working on retreat stuff. So mm -hmm. I have one sleeve, <laughs> which is 90% done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then one sleeve that has had nothing happen on it. It makes me feel better. Um, At least I'm not the only one that's perhaps a little delinquent. How long yeah. did we give people for this net alone? Um, we extended it through the 8th for some reason. So of to April? next Monday. Yeah, it was supposed to <sighs> end at the end of March. And then we were like, let's do it through the eclipse. Yeah. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not eligible for prizes anyway. I'm not, so. I'm not either. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is Birkin that I knit in basically three colors. So this is like. Uh, oh, right. Uh, Shiny. shiny yarn and this is like a plain green and then um oops yeah, he's well the shiny yeah oh you so, say sorry super fun uh but i need to finish the sleeve i could have sworn that i had the first and i was feeling all smug about it i was like oh, i could totally i could totally get this i have one sleeve to do totally you're on the ribbing sleeve. right Isn't yeah it? i just yeah. yeah and i wasn't yeah. even on the ribbing i did that well after I set up and I was waiting oh, well, and well. I changed the needle over, like mm -hmm. I hadn't even changed the needle over. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, so, the retreat did take a little bit it, of planning. Uh, well, yeah, it was, I was on a roll with the sweater and then uh, realized that I had, you know, a bunch of bags to finish and other things to do for my class. And I should maybe perhaps focus on those and put that sweater aside is what happened. So, so as does, oh, that doesn't have a picture. Um, as discussed, I cast something on that what? I haven't told anyone about. What? News to everyone except for me. Um, so, um, come on. I, um, I've made a few of um, Helen Stewart's shawls mm. before. Yeah. Um, and when I saw this one advertised, her mystery knit along this year is called 24 Birds. Okay. Um, and that's all we're allowed to show people. Mm. So it is inspired um, by birds and by William Morris, who um, did a lot of beautiful art deco. There's a lot of wallpapers and okay. fabrics, and um, he's sort of an artist. Anyway, I love his uh, stuff. And so I, it's, I love birds, and I love uh, nature and I love William Morris and so when mm -hmm. I saw it described I thought oh yeah I'm gonna have to do that one mm -hmm. so um since I cast this on she's actually issued another version that's a little smaller um which is I'm kind of glad I'm doing this one long story short this is a uh circular shawl so mm. you start in the middle and work your way mm. out and the one the 12 birds <laughs> mystery knit along is a half circle okay. uh, so for those that don't want to do the whole thing okay. so it's four colors and I am you know we're two clues in and I'm already like three quarters of the way through clue number one so mm -hmm. I'm already behind but yeah, you know. I uh, have had a few other things to do this so just a month. couple of other things yeah. to work on so spoiler alert for anyone who's doing it not that I'm anything because god knows you're all ahead of me uh but uh so this is my first color this is a uh, fuse is yeah okay. storyteller um yarn that i bought a long time ago and i've been kind of saving for like the perfect project this feels and I just, like the perfect project yeah and that. i just kind of saw it uh as i was pawing through my stash um and so it's a little hard to show but you can start to see the uh, so I cast it on last weekend, I think, maybe, after the retreat. Yep. Um, just swearing a little bit about the circular cast on. Yeah, those can be a little oh, fiddly. So annoying. But anyway, but I did it, and now uh, I'm almost ready to add... She fades in the other colors, and so my other three colors are... This uh, is color number two. 
gorgeous. Which is uh, fibrous dash gun metal. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then color number three um, is from Seventh Floor Yarn. Their luscious fingering. Yeah. So gorgeous three colors. And then the fourth color is a pop of color. Uh, these are all were in my stash, so I'm being good. Mm -hmm. And then this is my pop of color. Awesome. So also amazing. Yeah. So this is Malabrigo but magenta. You've got that yeah. pink is or that yeah. magenta is in that. So I'm very excited about these colors because they're awesome. in my wheelhouse yes, for sure. Yes, they are. And um, there is. I looked through a bunch of William Morris prints, um, and I'll put it. I didn't put do it yet but there was one that sort of inspired the color choices for me mm -hmm. um so it is not in my uh in my page yet but anyway so it's been fun to knit on it's kind of addictive once you get it going so I did the circular cast on and of course then you know you're just slowly expanding out right. and so I was doing magic loop and last night I pulled these tips off of another project oh my temperature blanket and I um got it onto a small circular because I was tired of going back and forth. It gets too big at a certain point to keep yeah. it as magic loop. Yeah. And it's easier to knit in the round yep. if you get there. Yep. Although it feels a little bit like a hat. Yep. <laughs> a top down hat. Yep. Um, but there's a Muscle lot. Bird. Yeah. You can see the, it's hard to see there, but I can see the uh, shape, but it's fun because it's a mystery. Who knows what it's going to look who like? And knows? I've been very careful not to look at any spoilers. Awesome. You know, there's people out there who were like done with Clue One and like 24 hours after right, they've been I released. Know. I don't know who these people are. I'm very impressed by them, honestly. <laughs> like, it's crazy to me to imagine a having that much time, and yeah. um, but it would be awesome to have that much time. Right. Maybe someday. someday. Um, so. I'm excited about this. Uh, I don't really need another shawl. God knows I have. Right. But every now and then you're like, I, I don't have one. like these colors right. or something special comes along. Right. So for me, this was something special. So awesome. I'm excited. Yay. Nice. Because you know, um, I don't have enough knitting. <laughs> I have a, a little acquisition that I got during I have, the pop up on Friday. I have one too. From the retreat. Mm -hmm. That's um, it. I'm pretty much done. Other than, well, I have one last thing. I pick oh, I up a those. pair yeah. of Skein's uh, fiber stash. So this is her dirty crayon box, but it's on the tweed, her tweedy base. Mm, that's fun. Uh, so I think this is going to become a little summer tank top, mm. summer tee, like with the two mm -hmm. skeins that's just kind of enough yards yeah. for like a little cap sleeve yeah. shirt or a tank like this mm -hmm. or something. I've been kind of poking around yeah. with some of the I patterns. Love that her colors um, are just Yeah, the tweed just make it made it sort of intriguing. Mm -hmm. Um it's interesting how the different colors play just a little different on yeah. different bases. Yeah. Um it's pretty. So all sort of my favorite colors in mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. uh, so that was like my one pick up of course you know we restocked a huge amount of fiber stash so we got to kind of go shopping for the store <laughs> a little bit too so that was it fun. felt like even more shopping because we got to do that yeah exactly and i see you grabbed some of kelly's stuff i did buy some of kelly's yarn yeah. um i got some honey from kelly i did too <laughs> I had just used up the last of my honey last week. I was like, this is very opportune. So, um, yeah, I don't yeah. know what I'm going to do with them. But it doesn't matter. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this is Kelly's um, Shetland Romney Finn blend and using fresh indigo that she, mm -hmm. so she dyed them herself. And so, um, so the Shetland yarn is from Kelly's flock. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is uh her shetland and some corydale um and it's called holstein shockingly isn't it fun <laughs> i love fun. black and white so um i've been thinking about a black and white something because i wear a lot of black and white mm -hmm. but um so this is also her hand spun so yeah. it's it's special so not only yeah. is it her um her sheep uh but also that she spun it so yeah uh, it's beautiful it's gorgeous. How pretty that is. I've got yeah, I've grabbed yeah. some hand spun from her before yeah, and it's, it's just beautiful. it's lovely. Yeah. She's super talented. Mm -hmm. Super talented. And just really like remember realizing that she does honey now and all the other stuff. Yeah. It's crazy like stuff. the amount yeah. of work that she 
does. Well, but that's what she does. Like, I know. That's her, that's her full-time job. Right. Right? Part of which I'm uh, jealous of. Uh, and part of which I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it yeah. makes me exhausted just to listen to her. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. So this is here because in the process of uh, hunting... <laughs> for mittens and like a skein of yarn that is related to something I needed for the retreat, I was pawing through my Rhinebeck bag, my stuff I brought Sorry, home from Rhinebeck. I've heard this story, which is why I'm laughing. <laughs> and so on the top of that bag is a sweater's quantity from Cece's wool of a sweater I have not started yet. Right. And underneath it are, were two things. Uh, one, this skein of yarn uh which you know people are like so so for those of you that may remember this garden gate sweater that i did that is a little shorter than i wanted it to be mm -hmm. because i thought i had used up all the yarn i found another skein so i'm gonna pull out the bottom and make it longer mm -hmm. so I, I was almost gonna do this weekend i was just like saturday morning i was like Finish the chicken, finish the mitts, finish the, like I was doing all the finishing, do the binding around my thing. So I would have all these things, like they all had like picky little things to yeah. just do. Yeah. And I almost got to the point where I could take out the bottom and put this on the needle so it would be an official whip again. But, um, so, so it's exciting. Stay tuned. Yes, because it will be probably by next time. And I mean, the thing that's great about it is awesome. that you will wear it more. I will wear it Because it will be yeah. the length that you want. Yeah, it I think it's like an inch or two at the most that it needs. Yeah. But it, it's amazing what a difference that extra yeah. inch will make. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Awesome. Um, also amazing also, <laughs> it was just tucked into that bag. Oh, it's so randomly. irritating. I spent hours looking for, I was sure I had one more skein of yarn. I somehow forgot that I brought it to my back. I guess I worked on this while we were gone. Probably because I was just working on the stockinette and I just wanted something easy to knit. So anyway, there it, there is. it is. Good there news. Is. Also in the bottom of that bag, I found mm -hmm. pixelated, which, which I kind of forgotten about, <laughs> um, which uh, it's a cardigan sweater that uh, we made, uh, both made. And... Uh, the sleeves are just very narrow on mine for some mm -hmm. reason. So I need to take them out and just re -net them, which will probably take like four hours tops. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like humongous yeah. needles and, and I'm going to, and they're just going to be straight. So there'll be no decreases and then they'll fit fine. I mean, the arm yeah. hole is fine. It's just they're, they decrease too fast and then they're like yeah. too tight and they're a little shorter than I want. So yeah. anyway, it uh, those two sweaters, I was like, yeah, I need to just finish these like and get them done. So that was fun to discover. Yeah. Like, you know, these things are out there. But they're kind of out of sight, out of mind right. yeah. until you put eyes it's on and like, It's a nice oh. organized bag of yarn. Yeah. And I was like, boy, that bag is full. Like, what's underneath there? I don't yeah. remember what I was looking for, but I was looking for something that I needed for the retreat. And I was like, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> This is a family show, so I won't I share know, what I said, but you right? can imagine for yourselves. So I was That's trying it. to be on top. Yeah, it looks oh, like no, I have no, one more you thing. You have one sorry. more thing. Okay, go ahead, because yeah. then I was going to move into uh, no long prizes, because I'm on top of stuff today. You are. The last thing I was, I just wanted to give uh, Ariana a shout out for mm. this beautiful pattern. Oh, amazing. That she designed. Yeah. Uh, you bouquet. Um, and I got a free copy of it because I helped name it because uh, I said it looked like Dahlia's. So it's so cute and it's self-striping yarn mm -hmm. held with a solid um, and it takes um, like 30 grams of the solid and maybe 25 grams, 20 to 30 of the solid and 15 to 25 grams of the self-striping so it's it's leftovers yeah. from the last pair of socks you made when i finish this pair of socks mm -hmm. that i just showed like the, i will be using the leftovers to make one of those and like, if i ever finish my uh what's your dingy socks uh polar arc socks which i i did work on those a little bit i just didn't bring them with me because it wasn't enough i think cast on a second sock well i'm uh i'm at the almost at the heel i think for okay. the pair so i did a little bit more um uh, but 
other things have been holding my interest a little yeah. bit more. So anyway, but that's what I'm going to use the leftovers for. So I do have to get going on it. But this is so, so pretty. Hard to resist that. Anyway, I just wanted to give a little shout out. Available on Ravelry. So we have, um, I closed the thread for the Polar Arc Along that was actually supposed to close at the end of Speaking of which, February. <laughs> right. End of February. Just closed it. So you guys got an extra month. <laughs> But You're welcome. Still open. <laughs> uh, so we had three people that finished their socks during the no long. I think we saw two is, of them last weekend. <laughs> I think we did, uh, which was amazing. Uh, so I just put uh, those into a random number generator. So two through four in the finished objects thread. And what are they going to win? So this is another different company of self-striping yarn. So this is Must Stash Yarn. Um, she was sort of one of the originals yeah. uh, doing self-striping yarn. Yeah. And for a really long period of time, like, you, it was really hard to get her yarn. Yeah. Um, so every May 4th, uh, she <laughs> does a whole, like, Star Wars mm -hmm. series. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Ray colorway. Uh, and she also does these as matched... Um, skeins. So this is two identical 50 gram skeins that are wound together so you can have a matched pair. So that's one of the cool things about her her yarn. Uh, so this is the prize for the it's polar arc along because you could use this for a polar arc too or you could just use it for regular socks. Super or you could use it for a hat. That's you what could I use did. It for a hat. And I was excited. I had yeah. forgotten that there were two skeins in there. So when yeah. I took them apart to wind for the hat, where I really just wanted one skein, I was like, "Wait, what's going Why on is here?" There two in here? Right. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. So this is going to go to uh, post number three, which is what my random number generator picked for the winner. And. We actually saw those socks we over did. retreat weekend. Uh, so Lori, Lori, who is local to us and mm -hmm. participates in a ton of these knit alongs, which right. is awesome. Uh, this skein of yarn will have your name on it uh, up at the desk. We'll save it here. We'll yeah. save it here because we know we see you pretty yeah. regularly. That's so, fun. Congratulations. That's fun. Congratulations. Awesome. Yay. That's great. I know. This fun. Mm -hmm. I have all different colors of the star. I have like so many of the Star Wars. I need to stop buying them because what happens is I forget that I have some and I'm like, oh, that one's new. And then it's not. And it shows up and I'm like, I already have that one. <laughs> have I used any of them? No. No, I have not. Yeah. But I could, you know, make a Dahlia hat out of one of those. You could. Because that would also You work. could make four Dahlia hats. I could make a ton of Dahlia hats. <laughs> that actually might be a good idea. <laughs> Turn them out for like holiday bazaar for yeah. auctions or something. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so congratulations, Lori. Thank that. you for We're participating. We're almost right on time for that one. I know. Compared to normal. Well, this is the first time we podcast since. That's that right. We are on close. time. We are on time. And the next time we podcast, we will have prizes for the Caitlin Hunter along because we extended that one to April 8th. It's and assuming we all survived the the, the full eclipse, eclipse along. Oh, um, right. Because we also have mm -hmm. an along going for that, which there are some things in yeah. there. Uh, and then we also have running our winter thaw top along. So remember that one just had to have cotton in it. I was trying to figure out if I could justify my nets. The nets in no. here have cotton, but it very clearly. I'm gonna draw a line. <laughs> it very clearly on the label says 15% nylon nets, so I can't use this yarn for the along. So, can I re-enter this when I? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> can I? Because this has cotton in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because clearly I've cast on the Three Seasons card again, which is what I was threatening to do. Is that what you were going to use for that? Yeah, I was. Does and it I have just cotton? haven't. It is. I have not because I've been doing all of the other things. Oh, this is funny. Sorry, it's so. called Olive, which I... Anyway. Huh. Never mind. Anyway. Yes. Uh, so we have to think about another uh, along because we have a bunch coming to an end. I think we could just I... extend the Caitlin Hunter one. <laughs> yeah, we might have to. Or the um, Winter Thaw top along. When does that one do? The end of April. Oh, yeah, really. June 1st. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Let's Mem extend For that Memorial one. Day. Yeah, we'll extend that to the end of May. Yeah. 
that's when summer really starts here. You can't plant anything before then. Okay, right? so we're extending the winter thaw top along. Um, and I had a couple of ideas for some other ones, and now I, I can't had some too what they are. at the retreat. So actually, I thought of a we'll couple, but... reconnect. Yeah, and have some prepared to share with you next time mm -hmm. we podcast, which maybe will be in a couple of weeks. I have to check the calendar. My calendar is going to get real weird here as because baseball season started. So. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. baseball season. Yeah, baseball <laughs> season. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be next couple of months are going to be lots of netting of... time. Yes. Yeah. Assuming I can get to games mm -hmm. because I have two kids. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I'm not going to be able to go to everything. Anyway, it'll mm -hmm. be fine. Uh, yeah. So if you guys have suggestions too, things you'd like to do along. Um, let us know. Yeah. Let us know. I have some thoughts, but always open for other thoughts. Mm hmm It is funny. I had a good idea the other day. Of course, I can't remember it. For you the don't life write it down? Me. No, of course mm -hmm. not. Nope. I'm not always in a place. Like, if I'm sitting in the mm -hmm. car for five hours, I have lots of really good oh, ideas. Yeah. And then, but they're... And then, by the time I get home, I just can't wait to get inside the house. Right? <laughs> just, yeah. Like, everything is gone. Totally. It just reminds me that I forgot to follow up with a client today that I said I would. I mean, a couple of just other things. We have our new, our spring class schedule. Class schedule is posted. Up and Those running. Those are live. Um, and local yarn shop day is April 27th. Oh, I'm going to so, be gone. Yeah, I just realized yeah, that. I'm, I, uh, yes, that day is also really crammed for me. So I'm not sure I'm going to make it up here either. Mm. Yeah. I will. I will be in Asheville, North Carolina, so I'm mm, definitely not definitely making that here. I have to find an LYS down there. Pop oh, in. I'm sure that I can. Asheville, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm Pop quite in sure. yes. for the good of the order. Yes, which is yeah. local yarn stores. That's so. right. Uh, on Saturday, yeah. I might be able to. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. We have a fairly busy schedule. It's one of those so conference if, things. Yeah, but... if you are around, pop in and say hi to us. Yes, on we might have a special colorway. We talked yeah, about that. Yeah, we we got some things in the works. We'll see if they can get pulled off. It's like a month away <laughs> or less at this point. I guess we got to pull ourselves together. Got to get our stuff together. So, but come in anyway. There's usually like free patterns and other All kinds of fun offerings. Stuff. Yeah. Um, comp a lot of the yarn companies do a really good job of supporting local yarn shops yeah. for. Local Yarn Shop Day. Casa Pinka usually has a pattern um, that she releases on that day. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I was thinking about her penguins. Oh, I know. It's really cute. Little penguins. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I know what I was thinking we should do. We should do a gnome along. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I think that we should do. Um, because Imagine Landscapes, one, she has a new collaboration she's doing with Michelle at Woolens and Nosh. Mm -hmm. But there are 11 billion gnome patterns that she's put out mm -hmm. in all different weights of yarn. Yeah. Um, so I think let's do a gnome along. Sure. Let's do it. I think the um, the first round of yarn that Michelle has done, which is a Fun. special self-striping yarn that the pattern has been designed around, um, I think that starts releasing middle of April. I think it's sold out. But it she did do a pre-order, oh. but that yarn will be coming later. Oh. Um, so let's start the Gnome Along on April 15th. We'll do a tax day. Okay. Okay. Gnome Along. That was one of my ideas. Now I remembered. <laughs> so 415 and we'll run it to 612. So if, you know, if you wanted to order a special yarn, it'll give you time. Like you can maybe make multiple little gnomes. They're so cute. There's so many of them. Yeah, and you don't have to use a special yarn. No. Of course, you can just use scraps. It takes, no. like, very little yarn. Exactly. So let's come gnome along with me. <laughs> April 15th to June 1st. Okay. Okay. Make a little fun gnome. Mm-hmm. Gnome. Okay. I'm starting to fade. Okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I am too. <laughs> All right. That's it. We'll see what else we come up with for more alongs, because there'll be more. More. Always. Stagger some through the summer. That's right. I'm sure we'll think. We'll have some sort of like summer travel knitting project thing that'll run the summer. Cause, you yeah, know, I was trying to think of like more summer time. theme things. It's yeah, tricky. Yeah. yeah. Most of us knit all summer long anyways, yeah. but 
I'll be knitting wool sweaters all summer long because yeah. God knows. Me too. Because why not? Why would you? Why or would I'll you not knit a wool sweater when it's like? <laughs> or I'll be knitting out? a ginormous uh, pie shawl. That's <laughs> true. There you go. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> so, hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. This is a little bit longer of a one because we have a huge amount of stuff in the outtakes talking about the retreat and like the adventures over the last month, but mostly talking about the retreat. So. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. So thanks for spending some time with us. We enjoy all of you, and we know there's a lot of choices out there, so we appreciate that you're hanging with us. We do. So we also, will... we don't understand it, but we appreciate it. It's fine. It. <laughs> we, we love it. Um, so we'll see everybody soon, maybe in a couple of weeks. Yep, um, I think so. we got to connect on our schedules, but we'll see you all soon. So Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Eclipse classes reveal live on the intertubes. Ooh, look at mine. They're pretty. Oh, those are fancy. There they are. We're prepared. We are fully prepared for the hordes. Oh, my God. We're making well, pl alternate plans for living in Vermont for the next the, week. <laughs> the weather uh, seems to be suggesting that it's going to be clear and sunny and like Ooh, even better. a really awesome day for eclipse viewing next week. Which is good because I, I've been afraid, sorry, yeah. the day. <laughs> um, <laughs> People will I just I, care here. <laughs> I care less about what's happening on Monday weather-wise and I'm more concerned about what's happening Wednesday and Thursday here. Uh, I have to drive because to the, the predictions Wednesday. are that there are places that could get two to three feet of snow. Yes, they're up in the mountains, but oh yeah, you haven't seen the weather. No, I just heard out? the weather report, and mm -hmm. it was like two to three inches of snow in the mountains, one to two in the valleys. Two to three feet. I'll go double check, yeah. but I have to drive to White Plains again or whatever, some version thereof, on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. This be fun. Yeah. You have some for your whole family. I do have some for my whole family. Those are... They're black. Like, yeah. you can't see out of them. No, yeah, that's the point. I don't see how I'm going to even see anything. Because uh, you're going to be looking directly at the sun. I'm looking at the light and there's... Yeah, but it's not as bright. I can see the lights. If you Maybe look... these are really... No, if you look for a little bit, you can start to see the lights. These are terrible. Well, it's gonna keep your retina from getting burned out i guess so i'm gonna be able to see can anything. you not see the track lighting up there vaguely like yeah barely yeah because you're supposed to be able to see it without killing your eyeballs barely yeah i'm pretty sure they're safe for direct solar viewing because they're blackout shades <laughs> yes they are well i would like to be able to actually see the eclipse well you will be able to that's how bright so. it is you can't we look shall at the see. sun normally i know but wear sunglasses yeah. everyone's fine yeah. anyway okay. this is this is on every <laughs> store counter in vermont right oh, now yeah. i bought Everybody. mine online months ago because i was petrified that they would run out i got some from my friend Catherine, who sells all the things <laughs> so we are a set at my house and then apparently right. our local library has like twelve thousand pairs or something i have seen them really so. appearing for three dollars a piece yeah uh, yep and given that I paid six for mine, six dollars a piece, I'm not excited about that. But oh right, where is the phone? Did I drag that out? I thought I did. There it is. Just because I do oh. need my Ravelry. Apparently, page. there's a giant tree down on the road that I need to drive on to get home. My child just texted me to tell me that. That's Stay at my house tonight. Very if you, handy. If I can you, go. I can go around if you need to. Go around. Um. So, uh, so we had a week last week. We did stuff. We did a thing. Well, yeah, I oh, mean, post retreat. Another, oh. Yeah, I, I came home to like house in utter chaos. Um, Almost made you want to leave again. <laughs> it did. Um, <laughs> complete with uh, two different visits to urgent care from members of my household. Uh, one was an adult, so not me. Uh, and the other one uh, was my 12 year old who was cooking dinner and sliced his thumb open on a Ooh. tin can. And four stitches yeah. later, Ugh. yes. Also gross, what kind of tin can? In Enchil my house, 90% of the time, that'd be a cat food can, which is nasty. Um, enchilada sauce. Mm. Ooh, stingy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you know, it's so we are not sort of an arm flapping injury household, like for a little scratch or something that clearly yeah. can be 
dealt with with a band -aid. Oh, blood is blood, though. Just we are not going to urgent care. Sorry, I'm like, not comfortable. <laughs> so I don't really know yeah. what the urgent care doctor was expecting when he removed the paper towel from William's thumb, but he visibly, like, like oh. blanched, like, That's no recoiled. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, yeah, it was. it's bad. That's why we're here. <laughs> I mean, I know they see all kinds of things there, but, mm -hmm. like... It's a legit yeah. Yeah. injury. Well, four stitches. That's... Four stitches on his thumb. Yeah. So he's yeah. enjoying that, I'm she's... quite sure. Yeah. Um... That was the same day on Sunday? No, that was Wednesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so it was like the whole week was stuff like that. No. Oh, it felt golly. like. Um, yeah, really I just really did awesome. my normal driving all over this northeast uh yeah he's he's doing okay i mean you know the stitches hold everything together really yeah. well it's on his right hand so that's his like dominant, everything hand. his yeah. everything hand um so you know we've been keeping a bandage during the day so he doesn't he still like wax it on stuff but i think he hit some nerves because he's like part like i can't like he's like my thumb is numb like i can't feel like one half and the other half is like i can feel a little bit and i was like well it may get better, but it'll take some time. Once it but... actually heals, it'll help. Yeah. So he really did a number. Yeah. Um, hmm. And all I was telling him was like, well, at least you were doing something helpful around the house. You were right. starting dinner versus just farting around. And, and when you, you know, guys were home? Uh, John, John was home. I was not home yet. Mm -hmm. I walked into, I think I have to go to virgin care. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. I was like, well, let me see. He had it all like, he, you know, he's a scout. So he had it all like, you know, band-aided up. But I could even because see it's... like with the band-aid, I was like, oh, that's not looking okay. good. Okay. As I've seen enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he took the band-aid off and I was like, yep, we're going to her to care. <laughs> I don't need to see anymore. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's gotten a little bit of mileage over mocking me because I almost passed out in her to care. Like, I don't do well with any of that stuff. Um, I just designed whether those spaces. I whether do not it's like myself being or somebody else, it's really worse if it's somebody else. Like I just, it's not. Yeah. Um, it's not my thing. Nope. Um, not and I almost got the you know ER doctor and nurse really <laughs> excited as well because I get really pale and I just you know they were looking at me like, are you okay? And I was like, just I need a moment. They can't like you I'll fix be okay. him. I'll you be fix fine. him. <laughs> I'll I'll be fine. I think they were worried I was just gonna <laughs> plop out of the chair, but. It's happened enough. I like know how to fix it, right. so it's fine. Right. It's fine. But mm. yeah, so that was not really how I was expecting to spend my Wednesday evening. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad that you know he kept his finger. <laughs> it is true. And he will probably That's regain true. full use, hopefully. Oh yeah, crossed. I mean he yeah. could, you know, he could, yeah. he can move it. It's, yeah. Um, It's hard to really cut it. I mean, cans are I sharp, but still, I'm not entirely like a knife. Sure I understand how that sort of. happens. Like I've sliced I, off chunks of my finger when I was building models. If, as if a you can't a student. hear yeah. this stuff, like just fast forward like ten seconds. I think <laughs> I'm not sure I want to hear. <laughs> I think he had the can in his hand, and yeah. I think the can slipped out of his hand, and the lid was still attached, and mm -hmm. his thumb just went up the side sliced of the can. It, yeah. I, as best as I can tell, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, but. <sighs> Yeah. I mean, this falls into the category of big go, go big or go home. Like, yeah. It, yeah. Anyway. Hmm. So, hi, William. <laughs> Apparently, he subscribed to our YouTube channel oh. and he watches these. So, you're welcome. I'm talking about You've been about the star you. so far. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he watches this far. So, this will be right. the outtakes. But, right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Hmm. So, yep. So we also have pink eye in the house and like a, some nasty something or other. Like it's just, <laughs> I, yeah, I, no, I know. I know. Hmm. <sighs> Why? Why? I go away for four days to try to do something fun mm -hmm. and I come home to this. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> They'll Why? recover. Why? <laughs> but anyway, speaking of the fun stuff. We did we a thing. Did, we did a thing. We did We did a retreat. We did. It was awesome. It was super fast. That's it all did. I have to say. Like, it was, like, over and done in, like, 13 it seconds. It had everything. It had mm -hmm. classes. It had good food. It had a snowstorm. It had it was very all Veronti. the things. <laughs> 
totally Vermonty. Yeah, we, we could not have, have asked it. for. Well, in fairness, we could have asked for a slightly different weather because the timing was not perfect, but it was manageable, we which managed. it was. We managed, we managed it, so it was fine. But and it was lovely, very Vermonty yes. and blanketed or bracketed by yes. two bluebird sky days and, beautiful and we were able to like swap stuff around to just be able to hunker down yeah on a saturday when it was really crazy snow, snow day. Yeah. um so that was good yeah um the attendees were awesome like yeah. we could not have asked for a better nice group. group of people yeah. like they were amazing yeah. um our instructors were great and I think people had a really good time. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. As I said, it was a bit of a blur. <laughs> yes, you know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think partly just because uh, uh, I'm still recovering from moving the office and everything. Oh, like, yeah, it's you've just, had a lot It's just lately. been such a couple of weeks. that, And then um, it was all, like, just getting myself to that point where we could start the retreat mm -hmm. and then it was over and retreats done. over yeah yeah and we were going to try to do this last week but my chaos house um did not allow it so we we're like well I'll just regroup and yes here we are that's okay I have All lots right. of finished objects I, which you will have already seen I have I have lots of stuff that I have shared as well um, some of so, which would not have been done if we had podcast last week or no that's true week. I did finish so, um a number of things and i started a couple things same because you same. know there's just do uh, i not have enough already going i no. do but i yeah. did clean on my ravelry page a little bit i had a, lots of stuff that were still showing us whips that were clearly done and unfortunately yeah. i'm pretty much on top of that and i think there's a few whips that are not on there <laughs> probably <laughs> even better I, i'm almost positive that there's more but. so should we show like some of our retreat stuff like mm -hmm. in this section let's do the retreat stuff now okay and then we can just allude to it at the beginning of the actual for people casting. to stick around if they want to hear right. it yeah. yeah i think that makes yeah. sense so started on um, thursday yep we did had a lovely uh dinner uh kelly came and yeah, was our was keynote great. speaker was so nice and talked about the farm and basically yeah. did like a year in the life of a sheep farmer which yeah. is really awesome and educational a totally educational and also a reminder of why i will why never a be a farmer <laughs> yeah oh there's some nasty bits <laughs> oh yeah no but i thought it was great yeah it was really nice that she it was lovely no it was really great and it was it's always a good reminder because you know you go and you see the sheep and you're like oh sheep. I, could, no, I could do this and yeah. then nope yeah and i think you nope. know everybody came in we had um a scavenger hunt that we had that jen worked on and set up for folks look isn't that cute um everybody got one of these yes which was so much fun um and filled with amazing goodies except for bag number one which went mia and yeah there were 10 stations sucked through a portal and then reappeared briefly and then got sucked through the portal again and we don't know where it went and it's really fine but i will say this it was the um progress creepers that i yeah. had made for a previous thing um that we were sharing with everyone so like all the other stuff I don't know, was mass produced or whatever, but that was like um, the one thing that was yes. like handmade. Um, yes. Perhaps. So, yes. but that's fine. Yeah. So we f filled people's notion bags, bags up and mm -hmm. Ange made these beautiful bags. This is mine. These beautiful bags for every single person. Look at this fun fabric with these rainbow they koala all bears. All had different fabrics yes. and prints and pretty inside lines. I'm very sad to announce that pretty much all that fabric came out of stash so I also <laughs> have a very large fabric stash in case anybody was wondering. Awesome. <laughs> I made mean, like 28, 29 bags from stash. That's right. Yeah. Lucky we all got one. Which is also why the new sewing machine was purchased which I love by the way. And people were excited. They got to choose their own bags. So mm -hmm. first come, first serve. So it was it was good to be first. But I think people found people, there was such a one. wide variety yeah. of like fabrics yeah. that people yeah. found something that they were in love no with. No one was sad. No one was choice. sad. No. At all. No. Um, so that was fun. And we had, you know, a really nice dinner. Um, and then just people kind of hung out um, after dinner, I think. Yeah. Yes, I was trying to remember the first night. I had to do a conference call for an hour, so <laughs> it's a weird, you know. 
Yeah. Never allowed to just leave your office. Um, and then Friday. Friday, we started the morning with some classes and we're, uh, Jen was teaching a weather class. Weather management. <laughs> I was taking a class um, and was doing weather management. Uh, it was the yarn dyeing class, which um, Heidi from Dirty Girl Yarns came. So this is my haul. Let's take it out of the bag um, from that class, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like only kind of partially participating because I was agonizing about the well, weather. Well, <laughs> I was agonizing a little bit and then when it became clear that we probably should start to move stuff around, um, had to start sort of behind the scenes dealing with that and seeing if it was yeah. possible for us to spin up this change um, and make these decisions because if that, what we ended up doing was flip-flopping the Friday afternoon schedule with the Saturday morning schedule. Um, so we just reversed and the Friday afternoon classes got moved to Saturday morning and the trip to the store got moved to Friday afternoon. Which was really fine. And yeah. luckily, uh, two out of our three vendors were, we're able, able to, to scramble. I just, yeah. I only, um, the real downside for the weather was for them really. Yeah. And that um, obviously they got to, you know, vent to the retreat people, but, but not really the locals. But not to the local public people. We did, right. we did tell people and a few people came in that afternoon, but Friday afternoon, a lot of people were working. Right. And, right. Um, and I think the challenge was, is that um, the weather was miserable on Saturday, yeah. and I don't know how many people would have come out right, exactly. if, on Saturday. Yeah, no, that, and so. no one would have been wanting to drive a trailer full of yarn around <laughs> to try and get here. So, no. um, as it turns out, we we didn't get quite as much snow as um, the mountains did, which really got a foot or a couple of feet yeah. of snow. Probably got I think eight we or got nine inches. eight or nine inches. So, but it snowed yeah. all day, so it was lovely. And then we just did classes on Saturday all mm -hmm. day instead, mm -hmm. and. Um, and had nice we had some of our, um, started to put the call out to some of our instructors that were coming in Saturday and got some of them in Friday night. So they were just there with us all day Saturday. Yep. Most of them were planning to stay Saturday night anyway. Yeah. Um, so it was really just yeah. getting them in early. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which was also fun for them because they got to hang out and meet people ahead of time and, and, and do some things. So, so I uh, taught two classes, yep. um, but I got to take one. <laughs> And so I did a punch needle class. Look at my little shape. That is so cute. He's adorable. And I actually was a good girl and I haven't steamed it, which I probably should because then it won't curl. It was under heavy books all weekend, but that doesn't seem to have changed his mind. But yeah, um, my little sheepster. That is so punch cute. Needle. So I, uh, I learned and enjoyed a new craft. And um, I did yarn, as well. So I shouldn't. <laughs> while Jen was punch needling, I was wool painting. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Mm -hmm. So this is loosely based off of the uh, flag from my town, the town flag. Um, which I could probably pull up, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's mountains cute. and water. and Mountains yes. and Moncton Pond and fields and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was fun to see the results of that class. Um, things, they were amazing and beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and so the instructor for that, I think... Uh, teaches a lot to like non-fiber artists <laughs> and so she had budgeted a huge amount of time we're all fiber people and everybody's used to working with fiber and you know different crafty levels. creative people crafty creative people and like folks were just knocking out their paintings left and right so she was like mm, do you guys want to do some traditional felted <laughs> stuff and we we're like okay <laughs> so i made this cute little bunny little bun bun little bunny <laughs> uh, but yeah, she was like, I can't believe you guys finished so fast. And I was like, well, this is like a room full of like fiber people. So yeah. I think that makes yeah. a difference. Like we understand yeah. like how to pull a wool apart. We did like, did we to... have a longer, I don't know, our punch needle folks, we went right to the end. I didn't, I hadn't done the border. Uh, but in our class I did all of the yeah. punch needling. Yeah. Um, and I didn't do a great job cleaning up my ends, but, um, uh, and then I put this border and I uh, cleaned up the edges uh, this weekend. Okay. So, um, but yeah, it was nice. fun. Uh, I have to say it does need to be, it's very curly. Yeah. Cause I am a tight punch needler. <laughs> I guess it's probably me too. <laughs> I have a kit that I, yeah. can, that I can use. Yeah, it was fun to see. It was fun to understand it. Mm -hmm. um, my Google Eye Jeep. Um, I mean, so eyes are not my specialty yet. <laughs> Krista, who taught the class yeah. for us, um, 
brought in the rug that she made. Oh my goodness. Um, did she come and get it already? She did. It was it was up front for a while. But... Uh, and that was what she did to get her certification. Yeah. She's a certified yeah. punch needle teacher. Oxford certified. Oxford yeah. Certified. Um, the rug was amazing. It was Beautiful. so gorgeous. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting for me. Um, you know, obviously she had a couple, of, we had like two or three different pattern things to choose from ahead of time, but, um, and it was intended to be small and mm -hmm. sort of quick to instruct people on. Um, but I could, like her rug um, that she had done, which was probably like, I don't know, three feet by three and a half feet or something. Um, it's like watercolor. Right. Um, so I can understand yeah. Like for me that it's because of all those watercolor classes I've just been taking the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's interesting. Also the painting thing that you guys did. Yeah, the wall um, painting. Yeah. Was it feels kind of the fun. same to me. So it's yeah. fun to Oh, oh not lights. again. Here Maybe it'll be bright enough today. Here we the go. The lights went out on this yeah. side of town. <laughs> Here we go. But we'll see. We anyway. See. Yeah. So it was fun. We I had a and, great and time. I think uh even our more traditional classes, people enjoyed. Yep, people I did a to. mosaic knitting class. And I mean, I've showed the little coasters that we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, folks. And you saw the sampler for the color work class. So people got to color, mm -hmm. make their own designs, and they mm -hmm. were knitting them up uh, as we were relaxing that evening, which was fun yeah, to see. That was, that was awesome. And then okay. um, my thrummed mittens class. So one of these, I'll do the whip. I have a finished object because I had to finish the object that's been sitting for a while. And then I did a, started a new pair so I could demonstrate to people, look, they're like little red hearts. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. That is so cute. So, of course, um, the, and for those who don't know what thrum mittens are, they have this lining of roving, soft roving inside. So it's like a double layer of mittens or slippers or whatever else you choose. You there were definitely people hat. who were like, you should make hats. And I was like, I don't know if I have all that roving around my ears, but I think some people were thinking you could just do like, like the band. Headband. Yeah, and Next. then do the regular hat above. Oh, yeah. So you wouldn't, you it wouldn't be like too warm. Like the brim would be <laughs> yeah. where your ears are, yeah, would be exactly. covered yeah. for wind. So, yeah, I um, so this is just, uh, some people may recognize this yarn from the sweater that I took apart and recreated. Um, <laughs> leftover. And then, yes, and then I had some leftover roving uh, in my stash that I started with and may or may not have enough to finish the mittens with, but that's all right. So, yeah, awesome. that was fun. It was fun to teach those two classes. Um, I mean, I learned how to dye yarn in the crock pot and <laughs> now um, I have a yarn dyeing crock pot because <laughs> I snagged one. Mm -hmm for supplies for this class, um, so. I have an old one that I saved for that purpose, but mm -hmm. it just sits in the back of a closet and doesn't get used much. With your indigo bat? Nope, that's oh. out on the porch. In a, we'll have in to a see if bucket. we can revive our indigo bats. I have mine down in the basement. Um, and I uh, Tammy gave me some directions first. and uh, she, like this was been two year, a year and a half since Anybody I was supposed No, she told me that yeah. it would be fine. You just yeah. have to heat it back up again and because it's just more. the color and mm -hmm. so and yes and she gave me some directions i have supplies well we should do that because i have one that mm -hmm. could use to be revived uh, mine never got used so <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just sitting there uh <clears throat> yes yes i have all the things to do so maybe this summer it yeah. feels like a good project, summer yeah. project. It was so wet last year that I was just like, oh, I'm just because I do a lot of my outside. I just never can find outside. enough time because you have to. Yeah, it's it may or may not be like a day day long project. It seems yeah. like it's. Yeah. And there was a lot of water and a lot of rinsing and then yeah. drying on racks outside and yeah, rinsing again and so. Yeah, I was going to do it on my porch, which gives me a little bit more freedom, mm -hmm. but it's. Um, like once you heat it up, it has to sit for a while. And I don't know, anyway, I couldn't, I don't really, I don't have a lot of two days that string together. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, yes, that is that is something to think about. Maybe we could do it over like the 4th of July yeah. weekend. Cause I think the July 4th is on a like Thursday. Yeah. So lots of people are probably gonna take long weekends. Yeah, um, absolutely. So that would be like three days. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we probably have parade stuff to do on the actual fourth. But anyway, um, <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. we could look at those. Yeah, timing for that. I don't go to Maine till the week after. So okay. 
Yeah, All right, well, we can awesome. chat about that because that would be fun. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we could bust out the crock pots and we could just have a yarn dye and palooza. Mm -hmm. Right. I did yeah. the ice dyeing. That was fun at that okay. same time. But yeah. Um, yeah. So Do anyway, yeah, it was good. It was a good retreat. And yeah. uh, as I said, it just sort of flew right by. It did fly right by. And it was, it was, uh, it's a great place. I think oh, I, the location yeah. was awesome and yeah. they were great to deal with. And yeah. there weren't really any snafus, maybe one little one, but they were right on top they of it. They were on top and, of it and it, it got fixed and it was not a big they deal. treated us really well. Exactly the way they yep. should have. So, um, yep. and they were helpful about the shuttle for the store, even though we yep. changed the day. It was mm -hmm. really, they were Oh great. yeah, they just, stuff just happened. Yeah. yeah. So, um, good for future reference. Yes. I, my guess is we um, will we'll plan another one. I can't guarantee it'll be next year, maybe two years. People um, were asking. Yeah. Are we doing this again next year? It's um, There's a lot. Uh, I have a full-time job. <laughs> we have a system, but still. Yeah. And this system, I think one of the things for sure uh, that was good about this one, and we sort of said this ahead of time, but it did prove out. Um, we can focus more on the retreat. Yeah, and also and just bolts. being part of it rather than like trying to solve, yeah. try to do everything behind the, the scenes. scenes and yeah. um, be present. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, little elves would just come and set up food, and food stations would arrive, and then yeah. you a ate bar. your meal, a bar and a bar would appear, <laughs> and um, then yeah. you ate the food, and little elves came and cleaned yeah. everything up. So you know. and other than the weather, which did. It rearranged Andra because mm -hmm. also Andra, our Barocco rep, came and yeah. uh, she's Which was super so fun. She's yeah. super fun to hang out with, and so she had to rejuggle, rejigger her things that she was doing for us as well. It was all fine. It was, fine. It was perfect. But yeah. um, other than that, it was yeah. And now we have kind of a plan for yeah. It's just a matter of who's going to teach. What are we going to teach? That kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So we'll see. Jen and I can chat more. I think <laughs> every other year, if I'm being realistic. But we'll have to make yeah. decisions. You let soon. us know if you want it yeah. next year. <sighs> we'll bribe Ange. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Right. So. I don't know and what else I don't I've really done. know right. where March went because leading up to the retreat, there was so much. I was doing so much getting ready for the retreat. Yeah. Including um, name badges. <laughs> Did I, do I have them? Mine oh, is I have the bag. normal sized one, not the ginormous one. The yeah. seed paper one that was like <laughs> this big. Jen was like, do you think that's too big? And it's I was like, a, it's oh, a little large. No, it's fine. And then I got home and started was looking at it and I was like, oh, she's right. That's huge. Now I was trying to be supportive, do? but also direct. Yeah. No, it's fine. Sometimes, you know, you just, you get there and you're like, right. yeah. oh, it's fine. It's not. Um, you know, size. Like, nor the size we ended up with was like perfect. Normal Actually, size. I have Mine is in my bag, which is over there. Oh, no, I do have both. Oh. Okay. So this was the normal sized name badge, right? normal size. Mm -hmm. Here's the one that I started with. <laughs> and this one's mm -hmm. even like cropped down a little bit. So it would mm -hmm. have been even bigger. But yeah, yeah, just a tiny bit, just a larger, tiny bit. But look, we're all needed. fancy. We have people's classes on the back. Yeah, and so just Ange made these little lanyards for little us. Little lanyards, fun little lanyards for people yeah, to wear. So it was a very crafty retreat. Lots of crafty. I was craftiness. doing all the craft things. It was very fun. Mm -hmm. I had a good time. Mm -hmm. Except when I was fighting with my printer. But yeah you know what are you gonna so do we sorted it got sorted now i know the format for the name tag so next year that's why i said the like next it, one it's we'll all we just go now from here on out same place super fast different classes here's slightly the, different here's whatever. the format here's how they need to go here's how you print them next year Two for sure page. uh someone is scheduling a massage before they leave the grounds because oh my god right one did not take advantage of spa treatments and one should have <laughs> Yeah, we didn't really have time. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Thursday morning. Yeah, I I did need Thursday morning to get packed and run a couple of errands. I needed for it things to go to like the work. last minute things that yeah. just needed to get taken care of. I had to, yeah, and snacks that I didn't end up eating. So I, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we know. Now I know, but now I have lots of snacks in my office, so I don't. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but right. yeah, super fun. 
So. I was going to say, it's actually been a month. Yeah, it's been a month. Oh, golly. I don't remember yeah. the rest of the month. It, it was a blur. And then last I went week to was Savannah. just a hot mess. I guess that happened after, before, after the last podcast. Yeah. I was in Savannah, once again, traveling to a nice Savannah, Georgia, a nice southern state where maybe it could be pleasant and warm. And it wasn't. It was like 55 and rainy the whole time, three whole awesome. days. So I was actually super excited that I came home early. I came home Saturday instead of Sunday. And um, other than getting delayed for three hours at JFK, getting home at one o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So technically I came home on Sunday, mm -hmm. but really it was fine. It was nice to be, um, to be home, uh, early. Uh, if the weather had been amazing, I would have probably regretted making that decision ahead yeah. of time, but it was fine. So, yeah. and, uh, and you know, the weather's been all over the place here from yeah. 60 degrees to, you know, which snowing. you will see demonstrated. It's like, my, <laughs> my, ridiculous. You will have seen my temperature blanket and squares. And <laughs> there's more snow coming this week, so yeah. that's awesome. Unless it's an so April Fool's weird. joke. Today is April Fool's Day. Technically. No, because they've been talking about the storm since last week. So. Uh, you know, it's a setup. Mm, <laughs> we'll see. I hope not, but... I hope uh, so. And then next... <laughs> I don't really want to drive in the snow on oh, Wednesday. Oh, yeah. And then next week is the big eclipse palooza. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. <sighs> it's so hard to tell. I'm very curious to see what actually happens. Yeah. Because I mean, they're predicting two hundred thousand people come that are going to be in the state. It varies extra. widely, though. From like, it started out at like seventy-five to a hundred thousand, and now it's up like whatever. I think they're basing 000. it off of like hotel rentals and Airbnb rentals, and yeah, it's interesting though. I did drive to um, down to Monticello, New York, mm -hmm. uh, which is might as well be in White Plains. It's that far because uh, you go down almost all the way to Poughkeepsie, and then you turn and go west for a while but mm -hmm. um <clears throat> to meet with someone on friday and uh all along the highway they have those um signs you know the yeah. electronic signs solar eclipse april 8th come early stay late right <laughs> it's very funny yes i mean i'm just having flashbacks to uh the fish concert in coventry and i never really had to deal with that debacle yeah. i wasn't either but i saw the news like people but just you know the difference though cars on the, interstate. the difference is everyone like, was trying to go to one location yeah but whereas people are going people to... <laughs> well and there's yeah. only so many road arteries i think that's what the concern is is that yeah it's an event for a specific period of time and then the fear is that everybody's trying to leave on roads at the same time yeah. and the volume's too high. My sister is going to Montreal with her family this weekend. I was mm -hmm. like, hmm, okay. you're coming back on Sunday. And she's like, yep. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. <laughs> I think coming from the North might be slightly better, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, those North I, people might be coming down here. There are, <laughs> you know, suggestions about like that restaurants are going to be packed over the weekend because they're yeah. anticipating people coming in for the weekend. Like yeah. do your grocery shopping ahead of time. Like, God. you know, I mean, we, I will really be woefully anyway. unprepared yeah. other than actually making a plan for Monday that doesn't involve going to work, but, um, yeah. they're driving yeah. to work. If my yeah. office was nearby, but it's, it's 20 miles, I don't want to deal with any extra nonsense. So yeah. It's um, annoying enough on a regular basis. <laughs> my kids have a half day of school. Like it's my niece has not, the whole day off, and yeah. she's getting she's she turned sixteen this weekend. That's why uh, they're going to Montreal. But uh, her driver's test to get her driver's license is Monday morning at like eight thirty in Redland. So my sister is a little freaking out a little bit about that, but we'll see. I'm sure it's fine. The goal is to get down there and, and back. back up before yeah before things get and crazy. there's enough side roads that they can well i wish them way. luck i know good luck <laughs> that's what i said okay. and the driver's test is like five to 15 minutes so it's not like anyway they'll probably be okay that time yeah in the morning. they should be back in the car and on their way by nine o'clock hopefully home by 10 right yeah yep could be interesting all right amazing yeah so all right we should probably we should get this going we should because we have a 30 lot. minutes in and we've got lots of other things There's to talk about a lot about, of stuff to so. show for once i have lots of things okay <laughs>